Great, my lip is bleeding. Hey everyone! I know I normally show my faces in these types of videos where I'm going to sort of rant, hopefully this will be a short video, but my face kind of looks like crap, so instead I'm going to show you this. this. I will turn up the brightness because for some reason this records really dark. So anyway, on to the actual point of this video. So today is Easter, and this will probably be uploaded tomorrow, knowing my laptop. So, today, before my aunt and I went out on Easter dinner, as always, we always take the dogs out to go to the bathroom before we leave. So, I took my dog out into the triangle, which is a patch of land, I guess you could call it, um, in the middle of the fork in the road where a house, no one lives in this house, but there's a house there. So I took my dog out there to go to the bathroom. So she pees and she poops. I didn't have a bag with me at the time, so I was coming back to the house to get a bag to, you know, go pick up her poop. But when I was coming back to the house, I noticed it first before she did. There was a tan, tannish brown dog that was just it was coming closer, and it was probably about six inches from her butt, because it just wanted to sniff her butt and say hi, like all dogs do. But I noticed it first, and I, my first initial thought was, oh. And I'm trying to remain calm to help my dog, and then about three seconds after I noticed it, she noticed it, and of course, freaked out. You can look at my other video, Living with an Insecure Dog, and the story behind her dog aggression to know what her dog aggression is. But she is insecure and she is dog aggressive and I do explain why she is that way. So go look at that video if you want to know why she is the way she is. Excuse me, good lord. So she's freaking out, as I said. She's growling, she's barking, she's pulling me, she's foaming at the mouth, she's trying to get at this dog who just wants to say hi, like every other dog that meets her, is usually friendly and just wants to say hi. This dog is about the size she is. She's kind of a small-ish dog. She's 55 pounds, I think? Last time she went to the vet and we weighed her, I think she was 55 pounds. She's supposed to be 45. She's a female Australian cattle dog. So she's kind of a big girl. So I then, after, of course, she's freaking out and I'm backing up, and this dog is just freaking out. This dog just keeps coming closer and just wants to say hi. And I keep backing up and I'm yelling at this dog to get, go away, go on, get. Because this is what my family does. This is what we do to make dogs go away. Not that we don't like dogs, it's just I know my dog and I want to keep both dogs safe. So I'm yelling at this dog to go away. And of course, it's not listening. But then, a few seconds later, I notice another dog loose in our front yard. Both of these dogs are loose. Mine is on a leash. Both of these dogs are loose and running around the road in our front yard. The one in our front yard, I have run into before twice, I think maybe two years ago or a year ago, when I was shoveling the driveway in the winter. So. I know for a fact that this dog in our front yard is nice. My dog does not know that. She, of course, then sees that dog and freaks out. Because now there's two dogs and she thinks, oh my god, I'm getting ganged up on. And they just want to say hi. So eventually, my dog actually lunges, which I was surprised that she wasn't really doing. Probably because I had the leash so damn tight. She wasn't able to. Finally, she lunged at the little, the little one. Because the other one in the yard is a pointer, so he's kind of bigger. And he's a male. So she lunges at the littler one, and I think that spooked him, or her. Because that one took off, but it did come back. But it did take off, which is like, I was like, phew, thank god. So now I just only had to worry about getting her away from the pointer. So I'm dragging her up the driveway towards the gate and finally my aunt, who can hear me yelling, she, she goes, who are you yelling at? And I said, the two loose dogs in our front yard. 
I describe what the little one looked like, and she goes, that's the one that we're always hearing, and it has a very strange bark. I eventually get my dog inside the gate, because I'm just trying to prevent a dog fight, because I don't want anyone to get hurt, I want everyone to remain safe. I don't think they get that, but um, I don't know why these people do this. I am sick and tired of these neighbors who just let their dogs run loose. I don't know if these two dogs escaped or if they were just being let run loose like that little white dog in the other video that was just being let out and that one runs loose. I don't get why these people do this. It pisses me off because it endangers their dog from being hit by cars and it endangers my dog because she freaks out and she wants to go get these dogs. And I'm not trying to be mean or anything. Just Oh god, Charlie horse my foot. Ugh. Please, keep your dogs on a leash. Because we all want to be safe, and we all want our dogs to be safe and to live forever. We don't want anything to hurt them. <laughs> Moral of the story is, keep your dog on a leash. Or, if it is very well trained, it can be off leash. Just make sure that you're around, and you call it, so that nothing happens. Okay? Because I just want everyone to be safe, like I've said. So, that's it for this video. Uh, I hope this is a short video. Ow, Charlie Horse. Thank you guys for watching. Um, if you have any questions on this video or the video before that I posted, please ask them. I am happy to answer any questions that you have about my dog in these types of videos. If you want to ask any questions that maybe I didn't cover, please ask them and I will be happy to answer them. But that is all. Uh, I need to go, I have homework to do, I have a Charlie horse on my foot. <laughs> I will see you guys later. Bye bye. Stay strong. I love you.